You're looking at Earth below. The International Space Station is 225 miles above the Earth at this time with the Space Shuttle Discovery docked. In the foreground, you can uh, not only see the uh, tail of the Space Shuttle Discovery in that multi-purpose logistics module, you see the white uh, skinny piece that looks skinny here on the uh, screen, and that is one of the robotic arms. And then the, uh, the human-looking robot is actually called Dexter. It's also known as the Spitum, which is the special purpose dexterous manipulator. And he is uh, a permanent attachment on the uh, space station, and it's also called the um, hand for the Canada arm, the Canada arm 2, that is uh, on the space station. For a timeline of all of the activities uh, coming up in the next couple of days as Discovery undocks from the space station and begins her return home to Earth, uh, you can go to www.nasa.gov. Uh, one of the ways that you can find it is to look at the NASA TV schedule and you'll see pretty much a play-by-play -play of all the activities beginning uh, with the crew wake up, which is about two and a half hours from now. And once the crew of Discovery and the International Space Station crew wake up, they'll begin their uh, final goodbyes. And uh, they'll be parting today, or actually on Saturday. It'll be flight day 13 for them. So farewell and hatch closure comes at 4.56 a.m. And then Discovery will undock from the International Space Station at uh, 7.52. Coming up at the top of the hour, once again, we'll have our flight day highlights. That's the flight day 12 highlights here on NASA television. Those will be played each and every hour at the top of the hour as we begin to work towards the crew wake up. The crew on board Discovery and the International Space Station are asleep at this time, and they have about two and a half hours until wake up.